Hola chicos y chicas. Buenas tardes. Soy Señorito O'Brien. I'm going to take a second or two just to explain what I'm looking for you to complete when you're working on day one of your 10-day packet. If you get ahead of me, again, kudos to you for getting it done, but I'm only going to be working with one page per day, okay? So I suggest you hold off just because I'm not going to spend four hours trying to explain five pages of a packet, <laughs> okay? So one day at a time. So the last video you should be getting from me will be on Friday, March 20th, okay? The first day of your packet in the top left corner has day one written on top. And the title of this page says, Aprende y dibuja los pronombres. Okay, so if you want to draw, you are more than welcome to draw, but that is not necessarily what I'm asking you to do, okay? In each box, for example, if we take a look at yo, which is right here, okay? When we're using the pronoun yo, we are only using this to talk about who? Ourselves, right? Our individual selves, anything that I do on my own, okay? So in the box, I would have you write I. If you want to draw a picture of yourself or a picture of a stick figure with their arms pointing up to them, by all means, go right ahead. But again, you can skip the drawings as long as I know that you know what each pronoun is used for in Spanish. Okay. For the remaining boxes, I didn't tell your classes on Friday, but I'm looking for at least three examples of when you're going to use the remaining pronouns, okay? So when we're using to, it's when we are what? Talking directly to another person one-on-one, -on -one, right? So I want three examples of when we would use the to pronoun in Spanish, okay? And then on the top right, you have el and ella. Keep in mind that there is no usted for any of these boxes, okay? This is if you're talking about someone and they are not there, okay? So give me three examples of when you would use either L or Ea, or if you want to do three examples of just L and three examples of just Ea, again, that is up to you. If you want to draw a picture, to represent that, again, you are more than welcome to, okay? If I scroll down a little bit, you're going to see three more boxes. You have nosotros and nosotras, okay? Three examples of when we would use nosotros, okay? You can use nosotras in your examples if you want, because this one does happen. It's not usually as common. You won't see it as much, okay? Um, for nosotros, there's a bunch of different ways you can go with that. You could say la clase y yo, Paco y yo, mi familia y yo, okay? So just come up with a couple examples of when we would use the pronoun we in Spanish, okay? Although we don't use ustedes on this paper, I do have vosotros on here. Remember, right, this is a pronoun that people use. We just don't use it as much because we're in Spain or not in Spain, I wish, okay? But give me an example or two or three of when we would use vosotros, the y'all pronoun in Spanish, okay? For ellos and ellas, again, you could do three examples of ellos, three examples of ellas, or if you want to draw a picture to represent, that's fine. Just remember, for ellos, right, if you have a group of three girls and one guy joins this group, it automatically turns to the ellos pronoun because guys dictate the gender in Spanish, okay? If you want me to go over what the little captions are underneath each picture, I will gladly do that. Again, you don't have to follow this model at all. But for those of you that want to draw, this might be helpful, right? 
So for the yo pronoun, it says dibuhate ati. Right, that's saying to draw yourself. Right, and then underneath it says yo me llamo blank. You should all know that means my name is. Right. In the two box, it says dibuja a tu profe. Right. It's saying to draw your teacher. Okay. Tu te llamas blank. Your name is blank. Okay. For the LA box, you have dibuja a tu personaje favorito. Right. This is saying to draw your favorite character. It could be from a TV show, a movie, a book. Right, or any pop culture thing. Okay, L or A S A Yama blank. His or her name is blank. For the nosotros box, it says dibujate con tus amigos y amigas. Right, saying to draw yourself with your friends. Nosotros nos llamamos. We are blank, and then you write their names. Okay. For vosotros and vosotras, it says dibuja a tus compañeros de clase. Right, it says to draw your classmates here. Vosotros os llamáis, blank. Right, y'all are named, blank. And then for the eos eos box, it says dibuja a tres personas de tu familia. Eos se llaman, blank, blank, y blank. Right, that one for Eos Eos is saying to draw three people in your family. Their names are blank, blank, and blank. All right, so I think that covers most of what I'm looking for you guys to do today in your packet. Again, please don't get ahead of me just because if you mess up, all right, this is the only packet you have unless you have access to the digital copies and we can print out another one. All right, just take your time working on this. Tomorrow at noon, I will have up a video to show you how to work on page two. Hang in there, guys. We can get through this together. Adios.